Messi, 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 a beautiful day in Los Angeles. Hey, what's up guys, it's Kota. Uh, my name is Andres Carreño. My name is Jason Argueta. My name is Ibrahim Asso, and I'm from Canada. So, I like playing soccer because it just brings me a lot of joy, it brings me a lot of happiness. I mean, it just brings me joy, like just being with the ball, it makes me forget about everything. Like, time just moves by really slow with the ball. And I like playing soccer because it challenges me. It keeps pushing me to like different levels. I like learn more about myself every single day and also the people that I meet throughout the whole journey. Ibra just made a friend right now and he's uh, coaching. Oi. Just people from all over the world. Where are you from originally? I came from Canada. Oh, Canada? Yeah. Ibra's from Canada. Yeah, Ibra, Remember, that's my guy, friend. the guy you play soccer with. Yeah. I mean, like, it doesn't matter like what, what race or like who you are, you know, what age you are, where you come from. Uh, it's an amazing sport where a lot of people can just come together and have commonality and just have, have a great time. And I just love it. It's awesome. I think a good component of the training was that you had to communicate a lot just so you like everyone was on the same page so just making sure that you were telling people where they needed to go and you were just calling out their name so they knew the ball was coming. The best feeling in the game is like scoring or giving an assist like that rush that you get especially if you got a win like I don't think anything anything tops that. I mostly like scoring goals. That's really the main main driver. It's that feeling that I'm chasing. I can't really explain it. It's like the most euphoric feeling that I felt in my life. Favorite player, uh, I would say Cristiano Ronaldo. Ronaldo, he has hard work ethic. He's got the most swagger, he works the hardest. Makes me feel motivated, makes me feel like I could do a lot of things just by working hard. And he has the life that I want to emulate the most in soccer. Favorite moment playing soccer? My high school and we went to the final. Scoring a goal in my last high school game. There was a game on Mother's Day. It was in college and when I scored my first goal. It was just a nice crowd. The atmosphere was full. We ended up winning against Loyola and I, I, got, to, I got a chance to score and the, just the feeling was so, was so good. My dad were, was visiting that summer. Yeah, scoring in front of my family. And so they, both my parents were there to watch, watch the goal and it was a beautiful goal. All those times were the best. And I scored a free kick. And then my mom was there so I got it dedicated to her. And we, and we won the game, so that was, that was a really special game for me. It was just a lot of emotions, a lot of feelings, and that'll always stick with me. Yeah, I was just working really hard and kept on grinding, and it was like a period of time where like nothing was really falling for me. And then just finally scored, and it felt like I just finally broke through. And yeah, it was so crazy, like, oh man. I didn't know how to celebrate, because I was still processing it. And then you can just see like all my teammates are just coming at me and I'm like, ah, oh my gosh. That was an amazing moment. Look, okay, she sent a pics of me before they hit the ground. All night we run them numbers on a fitness sand. This is a cricket match, couple day affair with your wife. You think she leave it with my hoodie, told her give it back. Stop off at the hometown looking like a stood up. Hardest points was when I hit rock, I felt like I hit rock bottom. Probably when I tore my LCL in 2019. And I was out for nine months. That was tough. I was, I think I felt depressed. Because at that moment, I was probably at my best. Fittest, sharpest in every way. And then I was just out for six to eight months. Cried a lot. Just time, really. I, I, and I focused on work, which helped a lot. Just was in a bad place. School was the only option to keep me, I guess, going. I was trying to pursue this contract, man. I mean, just the amount of obstacles, just the amount of grind and um, and mental strength that you have to have to be able to pursue it and not want to give up and not want to stop training. It's it's not easy, but it's it's rewarding. It shows you that you can push yourself and, and go to those uncomfortable areas in life. 
that was my lowest point because missing soccer is just like missing an important person in your life. A low moment, but there was never really a thought of quitting or not doing it. The biggest lesson that I've learned from playing soccer. Yeah, it's hard, it's hard. There's, I think there's a lot, like... But like, I've learned a lot about life just with the ball at my piano, that's the saying. Hard work pays off. If you train and you do the work that you're supposed to do every single day, when you get on the pitch for a trial or whatever it is, it's gonna be pretty obvious that you did that. And if you don't, and you only train a few times a week and you eat like shit, that's also gonna show. Every single time in soccer, you don't really get away with it. That's, that's probably the biggest thing I've learned. Just the, the amount of hard work and consistency that needs to happen yeah. in and off the field in order to achieve your goal because I think that applies to anything in life um, but especially like those really big really scary goals you really have to you know dig deep and buckle down mentally and physically so I think that's that's like the biggest takeaway from it so every time we're, we're practicing or playing there's always something to be learned one hard work dedication to whatever you're doing being passionate about things and just being able to talk and learning from other people is just good experience and one day I'll be able to tell this to, to my friends or kids or my family, whoever. So this is a really nice experience. The most important thing is just knowing your true why, of why you want to keep pursuing and going. And for me, the, the, I guess the biggest why is just being able to see how much I can push myself as a person and from that being able to say that hey if I can do it you can do it that's why the whole achieve greatness thing is called uh, you know become the best version of yourself so I can inspire others to do great as well keep on achieving greatness see ya